sorry about that uh anyway so i'm looking for a miss in this engine uh, i took the plenum off a few times checked the fuel injectors and you know compression and all that stuff and uh i had put new plugs in it was new and the guy had oil all in the cylinders especially this side the other side still had the old plugs in it and didn't have no oil in it but so the plugs turned black i cleaned them put them back in i'm chasing the darren miss because i think i got you know new fresh plugs in it and i didn't even think about it when you're working on cars and y'all probably know this if you're watching this do the simple stuff first do the easy stuff first check everything double triple check it so anyhow right here is is the the beast and i cannot get my phone to uh focus on it i don't know I don't know why it won't focus on it. Let me turn it over here. Maybe it'll focus. Come on, phone. Well, it ain't gonna focus. This is the bad plug. They turned black. I took them out and cleaned them a while back and thought they'd be okay, but apparently they were oil foul. Y'all can see how wet it is. It won't focus. I don't know what the deal is. Anyhow, so anyway, let me get back to changing plugs in this thing. It, it's difficult, uh, but once you do it a few times, it's not too bad. Uh, these right here are pretty simple to get to. This one over here is not that big a deal. You just use a socket uh, and a short extension, a one inch extension and a three inch extension. This one back here, that's the beast. So, and you gotta use two different spark plug sockets. You gotta use one that will hold the plug and one that will not hold the plug. You wanna take the plugs out with the one that holds the plug in the socket. You want what you want to do see right here it is look it's focusing now so anyhow you drop this socket down in this hole back here just by itself and then what i use is this right here i use a, a, a universal and a little one inch extension and that gives you about a half inch sticking up above the valve cover down here and then you put your ratchet on that break it loose take your ratchet off screw your plug out real easy and then when you get the plug out you pull up on your whole uh tool and you take this back off you got to take you got to pull the socket up far enough to take this off and then you pull the the plug and the socket out by itself like this because if you don't do that you ain't never going to clear this this uh air conditioning and heater housing over here so, but that's, uh, that's the worst one on it. The rest of them, I'm going to go ahead and change them all out. And I'm hoping this does it because that number six back there, I knew it was number six that was missing, but that doggone plug, a $2 plug. And I didn't had this plenum off three or four times checking stuff. And it's a beast, but once you do it a few times, you know, it's pretty intimidating to start with. But once you do it a few times, you know, it's like butter. But these over here are simple, you know. The trick, though, is make sure when you take your plugs out, you use the plug socket that the spark plug will stay in, okay? And you pull all that out. And then when you go to put them back in, these aluminum heads, you got to be careful. Now, some guys put anti-seize on the plugs. Uh, I don't. I'll just put a little oil on them because I'm always working on it, you know, and they're not going to be in there for eternity, so anyhow i don't know don't don't quote me on that y'all do what you want to do about that but uh use your little piece of rubber hose see that rubber hose right there and you stick it on the end of your spark plug i can't do it one-handed but anyhow it'll look something like that and that's how you start these plugs i put just a wee little bit of oil on the threads but that's how you start the plugs and you get them we'll go ahead and run them down until the washer uh makes contact and then put your little contraption back in there and then when you're putting this last plug back in there you got to use the rubber get the plug in then you have to use the socket that will come right off the spark plug and you drop it down in the hole and then you put your little universal and your one inch extension on that and tighten it down and you pull every take your ratchet back off take this back off pull your socket up take this back off and then you can get the socket out of that hole so the rest of them are pretty easy. That one right there is uh, is the worst one of the bunch. But like everything else on this car, 
you know it's intimidating it's it's a different beast than a normal engine but in the end it's a con internal combustion engine so it does the same thing the rest of them do it just does it in a different way some of the stuff so anyhow i just want to post that real quick and i may post one later of driving the car uh i got to figure out how i'm going to hold the camera and shift gears so I, I don't know maybe i'll tape it to something inside the car or something let y'all hear it and and stuff so anyhow that's just a little short one i want to do real quick uh, i'll see you guys in a little while